update 3 on Invest 95E, which remains an Invest at this time. Not quite a cyclone yet, but it is getting there. Located at 14 degrees north, 99 degrees west, as of 10 p.m. Central Time this June 24th, 2021. As of right now, we've upped it to 35 miles an hour in terms of its winds, 1,007 millibars for its pressure. It's moving at 11 miles an hour to the northwest with no CDPS as this is not projected to make landfall in the next 3 to 5 days. Here it is on the map there of course, still no tropical storm force winds so no wind field at the moment but uh, that could change by tomorrow night's update so we'll see what happens there. Uh, look, still looking at 35 miles an hour for the time being. 144 miles away from Acapulco at this point, 375 from Kalima, 390 from Manzanillo, 825 from Culiacan, and 910 from La Paz. Uh, that is 232 kilometers away from Acapulco, 603 from Colima, 628 from Manzanillo, 1328 from Culiacan, and 1464 from La Paz. I do apologize if I did get any of these pronunciations wrong. But as of the current track, it is looking to get closer uh, to either Mexico or Baja over the next five days. We still have yet to see receive a good amount of intensity estimates from other agencies, so we're still stuck with the two uh, between our analysis and ATCF, which both have it at 35 miles an hour at this time. Here's the cone made by our very own Ethan. We are now downtrending our cone or at least our forecast down to 90 miles an hour, a high-end Category 1. That is after models have been downtrending, and of course it does look like this could be slowing down, which could lead to some up-pulling and therefore a weaker uh, storm. So, not looking at a strong, but we are now placing the southern tip of Baja under the cone, so those there, as well as parts of Mexico, should be monitoring the latest on 95E. Here are sea surface temperatures around the region. Looks like it's now in a patch of around 29 degrees Celsius. Temperatures could enter that patch of 30 briefly, but it's not going to last. And of course, as it gets towards the Baja region, uh, those temperatures take a giant nosedive. So around day four, uh, that is when it will peak, and weakening should begin soon after. In terms of the intensity models, of course, those have dropped off. Category one of the consensus, pretty much around 75 to 80 knots at this point which is what we're running with. Uh, wind shear is looking to go down, although the GFS is kind of interesting in terms of where that shear level will be. Sea surface temperatures remaining a little bit favorable until you get towards the 28th, where it starts dropping significantly by that point. And uh, humidity looks to be a great indicator for this storm, not really supposed to drop at all, remaining pretty moist. You can see its progress in terms of developing over here. It's getting there. Uh, some rotation is starting to be seen a little bit more apparent. Of course, rotation is a number one criteria of what you would need for a tropical cyclone to be in, uh, named or designated in general. But as of right now, we are looking for this to still become a hurricane, likely by the late weekend. And of course, the next name on the Eastern Pacific list, as long as nothing surprises us, it would be the name Enrique that would be given to 95E. Next update will be coming tomorrow night.